everybody, I'm James. Hello, and I'm Joanna. Today we're going to be doing some more with a samba, and we're going to show you how to dance crisscross, botafogos, and voltas, two of the most famous actions in samba. So it's important that we have a little look at those carefully first, we get some technique going, don't run away. It's going to be a bit of fun as well, and uh, we're going to show you how to put it together with each other. Nice, interesting samba figure. So, as we promised, we're going to break down those basic bits first. And although they're basic, they're really important to get right. And actually, some of the action and timing is a little bit technical in there. So if we turn around first and make sure you're facing the screen, so you're facing the same way as us, we're going to start first with our right foot. So put all your weight into the left foot. Your right foot's free. And we're going to feel like we're going to take a walk diagonally going that way, forward on that right foot, one. Okay? So now that leaves us with the left foot free. We're going to extend the left foot to the side. Now, at the moment, there isn't any weight on it. We just placed it to the side on the ball of the foot. We're going to rock our hip towards that left foot and then replace our weight onto the right foot. So it's not really taking your full weight onto that side step. It's just part weight and there's a little placement of the, the ball of the foot there. And then we finish with our weight fully over that right foot at the end. Okay, let's try that one more time with that right foot. So this is our bow to fogo action. So we're dancing forward on the right foot, one, and then we're going to place that left foot to the side, just part weight, ball of foot, ah. Uh. So there I feel like I'm a bit split weight between the feet, there's not much pressure on that ball of foot. Just use the hip action onto the left and then replacing onto the right, okay? If you can, leave that left foot turned out and that finishes the leg line. That makes it nice and smart leg line there. Now, obviously, once we've got good on one leg, we've got to try on the other leg. So we're going to use our left foot this time for our forward walk, going diagonally that way. Forward left, extend the right foot to the side, point the ball of the foot, use the hip action, rock, replace. And then our weight is fully over that left foot again. So let's do the first one one more time. It's right foot. We've got forward, Point, hip, replace. And forward, point, hip, replace. Forward, point, replace. And one, and two. Now I'm using the word and there, which isn't quite right. We're actually going to dance an uh. So that makes it a bit sharper when we dance it. One, a two. We're going to try and bring out that really famous samba bounce action using our timing. If I time that for us now, we're going to dance it one, a two, and 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 one, a two. So there's our Botafogo action. See if you can make that timing really clear as well. It's ever so easy to make our timing smooth. One and two, one and... And it shouldn't be like that for this one. We want to bring in that nice, lively bounce action. One, a two, a one, a two. The clever samba dancer is the one who can use those two beats of the bar um, and play with it in the most controlled, effective and colorful way. So we've got to be the clever samba dancer here and bring out that rhythm. Should we try them one more time? Right, bow to focus, here we go again. We're gonna dance four of them. So starting with the right foot, ready, and. One, a two, and one, a two, and one, a two, and one, and a two. Practice those, and practice those, and practice those, because they're really good actions in your samba to get going really well. And they do take a little bit of practice. That action of part weights doesn't feel very natural until it's practiced in. Right, next thing, voltas. Hmm. So, we're going to turn our backs to you again. Uh, so first we're going to actually travel to your left. Ooh, so right we're right. going to start with the weight on your left foot and the right foot is extended to the side at the moment without weight. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring your right foot, keep it turned out and place it in front of your left foot. You can soften your knees together so the left knee is behind the right knee. Nicely joined together. And then we're going to point your left foot to the side Change weight on it, onto it, but as you're going over your left foot, bring your right foot, cross it in front again. And then again, point your left foot to the side, 
and down onto your right foot and side and down. Okay, so that again. But this is the halter. So start on the left foot and bring the right foot in front first. So we go one, a two, a three, a four. Very good. And then from here we actually can go the other way. So we're going to bring your left foot from behind and then back in front and we cross in front. So we go one, a two, a three, a four. So this time we'll cross the left foot in front of the right foot. So the right foot, right knee is behind the left knee. Okay? So now we're going to free the right foot from behind and we're going to go to the left. So we go one, a two, a three, a four. Now bring up your left foot from behind and bring it in front. One, a two, a three, a four. Obviously you can do more counts or less counts. You can just do one, a two, or you can do up to eight. Mm. Like one so Depends how long a hallway is, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the variations are actually endless here, and you can obviously mix it up with the other figures as well. So uh, we're just going to do it again and um, back to the timing one, a two, a three, a four. Yeah, so just get that a little bit sharper timing um, for the bounce uh, in the voltas as well, as we did in the boat of focus. So we do it again, we're going to do four one way, four the other way. Four first way, and then last four the other side. Okay, so we start first with the right foot over the left foot. Ready? Ah, so one, and two, and three, and four. Change one, and two, and three, and four. Change one, and two, and three, and four. Change one, and two, and three, and four. There you go. Very good exercise for the folders. You can do them endlessly. And uh, keep going, keep going, keep going until you actually get the figure and the gist of it, and you can dance them comfortably and up to speed. Hmm. I think along with the boat of focus, the volta is probably one of the most famous actions in samba, so it's good to have some nice volta's clear time as well. Good. Right. So we've got two basic ingredients. Now we're going to start putting together the variation that we promised you, which was our crisscross boat of focus and our Bolters. So, obviously, for crisscross to live up to its name, it's actually going to involve us swapping places, and we're going to be crossing over as we're dancing our own set of volters or our own set of botafogas as we dance it. To get into this, we're going to start it from our normal Latin hold. In fact, we're going to dance it so you'll be able to see like this. You'll be able to set up face towards the TV screens in a promenade position. And our Sammy, you can easily get here from a whisk. You can dance your basics and turn to promenade. A whisk is a really good um, way of getting into promenade position or your samba walks. But from this position now, lead as you've got your right foot free and follow as the left foot. We're going to dance a side samba walk, sometimes known as a push away. It's like a forward walk, but it actually takes the second step to the side. So it's a forward step, one, and then we extend the free foot to the side, a two. We move a little bit away so we can um, open out on one side of the hold. Leaders, you're going to keep that left hand connected, followers right hand connected, and then, believe it or not, we're in a position to dance a bow to focus. I'll show you that one more time because that's an important entry. Our push away, or more properly known as the side samba walk. Here we go. So we've got walk, side replace. And then we're ready now to dance bow to focus. Now, leaders, you've got your left foot free. Follow us the right foot free. If we just let go for a moment, because there's some arm styling coming, we're going to show you the steps first, and you'll see that we're dancing a crisscross action in opposing directions for one and a two. We're then going to carry on and dance three further Botafogos. Two and a two, three and a two, four and a two. So you can see how the structure is going to work. Now, what do we do with the hand? Because we're going to maintain the leader's left and the follower's right hand all the time. And it's actually going to go over the follower's head. If I show you without the feet, it's going to go over the follower's head, come down, and then it's going to go back over the follower's head and come down. And then we repeat that again. So with our steps, let's try and put that together. We've got our side samba wall first, our push away for one and a two. 
And now leaders, we're going to lift that left hand. Followers, you're going to come underneath. So you're remaining dancing your bow to focus in front of the leader all the time. Leaders, you'll be doing yours behind the follower. And the hand will alternate coming over the head one way, over the head the other way. Here we go. One and a two. So we brought it down, but now it's got to go back up again. Off we go. Two and a two and three and a two and four and a two. So you should end up in the position that we started the first one if things have gone really well. Should we do that again? Let's go from the beginning. So side samba walk first, ready, and one and a two. Now into bow to focus. One and a two, two and a two, three and a two, and a four and a two. Oh, look at that, look at that. Right, when you've danced your four bow to focus, then we need our other basic action. Altus. Hmm. Right. So in order, order to fit it in here, we're going to turn it around. So now we're going to dance this way. Mm -hmm. So if you show it from this end, we dance our full butter focus first with the push away. So here we go. And one and a two. Now full butter focus. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two. Excellent, that's why you've gone before, that's brilliant. Now from here we're going to lift the hand and the followers will go under and we're going to dance a, a volta, a slight curving shape to keep going down the line of dance, our line of dance obviously that way. So followers, you're going to bend it slightly to the left, leaders slightly to the right. So with your free hand, just imagine it's leading you that direction, it's a bit like a horseshoe together. Okay, and we dance four of those, here we go, and one, uh, two now face each other and uh, three uh, four so the first two sort of used to sort of swap places and then the last to just keep facing each other continue down line of dance now we're going to do the same again on the other foot so follow us mm -hmm. now start with your left foot leads with the right but we're still moving the same way so don't go that way we're still going the same way so leads you're going to take that hand over your partner's head and lead us down with the right foot follows with the left we dance one a two, a three, a four. There you go, at the end of our ballroom. <laughs> Ta-da! It's well. So, we'll just show you the voltas. So this is the position we finished our boat of focus in. So we did four boat of focus. Follow us, you get your right with three, lead us your left. We dance the first four voltas. We go one, a two, a three, a four. And now from here we're going to swap over again. Follow still in front, one, a two, a three, a four. Very good. And just to finish it off and to get you somewhere that uh, you know, somewhere familiar, we're going to dance the whisk. So lead us to the left, follow us to the right, side, cross behind. Give a few more of the whisks. And now go back to basic. Okay, let's show that again. So just the vaulters. This is the position we finished the boat of Fergus in. So lead us with the left foot, follow us with the right. And one, and two, and three, and four. Now the other way. One, and two, and three, and four. And a couple of whisks at the end. Two, one, and two. Okay, just for reference, we're going to show that the other direction. So again, just the volters. Ready, and one, and two, and three, uh, four, the other one. One, and two, and three, and four, and some whisks. Uh, two, one, and two. There you go. Well, that's all there was to it. All there was to it, just need to put it together. Okay. So we're going to keep it a little bit compact. We may not travel as much forward down line of dance, so we keep it a bit compact to fit it all in. Okay. Let's start with our side samba walk and one and two, four butter fingers. One and two, two and two, three and two, four and two. Now first set of four volters. One and two and three and four. And the other set. One and two and three and four. And we at the end. And two and one and two. There you go. One more time from the other side. Okay, I'll do it from the beginning with the side samba walk. And one, 
and two by the feathers. One, and two, two, and two, three, and two, four, and two. Voltes. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And a whisk. One, and two, and one. I think that's the smallest whisk I've ever danced. That is quite done the end, but hopefully you can forgive us. So, this is it. This is the, the whole figure we like to show you today. Uh, so, practice separately first. Obviously, the steps of the Botafogos and Volters are the same for the leaders and followers. Uh, in a combination that we dance in the crisscrossing, you're obviously dancing on the opposing feet. Uh, but the figure essentially is exactly the same. So, practice first, put them together. And then, fingers crossed, you'll be ready for the music. Yay, right. And the ballroom. <gasps> With the music. So we're going to show you a couple of times, but we're going to break between those two, and we'll turn around and we'll show you the opposite way as well. So exactly as we just showed it, if we start from this position over here, we'll dance it once going across your screens one way. From our push away, we're going to count you in, and then we'll give a little about turn, and then we'll do it coming the other way as well. So get ready. Here comes our music. So five, six, seven, eight. Push away. One, a two, and two, a two, and three, a two, and four, a two. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four, and one. A two, two, a two, three, a two, one, a two. So now in about turn, showing the other direction. Five, six, seven, eight. One, a two, and one, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two, a one, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, two, a two, three, a two. So there it is. Samba for you. Crisscross Butterfagos and crisscross Volters. Hope you enjoyed learning them and uh, happy practicing. Mm -hmm. Get them ready for the big debut in the ballroom next. <laughs> Especially those famous actions, those Botafogas and Volters. Take your time and get those going really well. Very famous actions in Samba. It's really good to understand those and be able to dance them up to speed. Great, thank you very much. See you all soon, everybody. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.